Good morning. I'm so excited to show you what I've got today. Um, we're gonna take transformers. We're gonna crack them open. I've got my uh, three pound mini sledgehammer and we're gonna, we're gonna crack open um, the small transformers that were found inside of machines such as, such as these guys. And we're going to extract all their copper today. So we got our setup. We got our 30 pound steel plate. We got our three pound mini sledge. We're gonna crush them. So first we gotta find them. All right, so where do we get all these from? They come from all sorts of things. You can get them from any electronic device that needs to step the power either up or down from 110 volts or 220 volts to whatever it needs to go down to or up to. So in these cases, a lot of these came from computers, like right here. This is a power supply to a computer and you've got a transformer here, right there. Uh, maybe right there, that looks more like an EMI, but you definitely have two right here. On this one, you have one here, one here, one there. So you got three on this one. But, uh, but these transformers, their, their function is to take power on one side and put it through a coil, creating an electromagnetic field, which then induces a current in a second, call, uh, a second coil nearby. And then as that induction occurs, it starts putting a current through that set of wires. They don't technically touch. They're just close enough in proximity that 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 flow, that current, will pass into another set of coils, which then either steps it down or steps it up. So if this was 110, this side could be 12, 12 volt. So um, this only works with alternating current. DC current has to has to do its transformation a different way. So these are these are alternating current transformers and we find them in power supplies of computers. All right. The way I like to get them off is I just take some channel locks because then I can I can change to the size that I need to be, grab it and just pull it off. I can use my screwdriver and pry. <clears throat> See if I can get a good grip on it now. <clears throat> and I got it out, there we go. Now, there's all these EMIs, these copper rings and these posts. I'll get those off another day. I've already done a video on, on how to get the, the most out of your, your EMIs. So we're not gonna cover that one today. There's a card at the top of the screen. You can take a look there. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of copper in your power supply circuitry. There, there are transformers that have these multi-ply steel sheets, and we won't be able to break them with the hammer. Um, we could bend them, sure, but they're so tightly glued and so densely compacted that the best way to, de to get into these would be to, to use a grinder. So I've isolated over here all the ones that use use the, the the metal sheets. We are not going to do those ones today. But we do have all these good ones. So let's weigh these and see how much we have. All right, so we have six pounds, 12 ounce, a little bit over that. Let's see how many uh, grams we've got here. So three grams, or three kilograms and 80 grams. So let's see how much of this is copper, and then we'll do a melt today of all the copper that I've been building up in the last little while. This will send stuff everywhere. Have eye protection. The best strike points are on these flat edges. <laughs> it's 
loaded. There's the other one. The other pieces went uh, everywhere. So there's the iron. We pop this iron out, I hope. But we have those two coils. Put them in our collection. And then move these guys down. But that's all I do is I just smash it. Smash it with a hammer. All right, so we're about 900, 930 grams. Not a whole lot. That means a lot of this, a lot of the transformer is actually that steel. But man, let me tell you, this is, this is a really cool piece. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Oh, it's a thousand plus. It's almost two thousand degrees when it's liquid like this.
Not bad. So about five and a half pounds. This one's a little oversized and it wasn't level, but these three are perfect. They all are the same size. I love it. Love it when that happens. Well, uh, those transformers really didn't give a whole lot of copper. The bigger transformers from like um, massive, massive lighting systems and things like that, those will give you a much better copper return. Thanks for watching and uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Good night.